on the court. It's my job to put up the best ball possible. I'm gonna make you better this game. I'm gonna make you better after this pass. I wanna make everyone else around me better. You see her during matches, this intensity. Everything matters to her. She is in all the way. She loves having a ball in her hand. When I first got to Wisconsin, we weren't expecting to win a national championship. Now, every time we step in the gym, that's something that we're working toward. There's this hunger to keep getting better, just keep raising the bar. I never thought about quitting because I know my end goal. I want to be in the Olympics, but I know it's not going to happen overnight. Just constantly getting in that gym and get 1% better every day. Same thing we did yesterday. 5v5. Even if we're going all speed here, I want us being explosive at the end. Okay? Last two steps, fast. When was the first time I noticed Lauren? Uh, I, I, you know, everybody's known who Lauren was, you know, from an early age. First time we talked, I mean, you could tell right away that, you know, we saw things very similarly, you know, her goals and our goals and what we thought the program could be. She's a special kid. You know, just forget about just being a special athlete. She's a, she's a special person. When you have the opportunity of coaching people that really want to be good, that want to max out their potential, that are in the fight with you, it's uh, really, really fun. I was in ninth grade when I first met Lauren Carlini. Actually, I came into my first game at Wisconsin. My mom said, you should, you should watch the setter. She's pretty good. And I was like, all right. I remember watching her and I was like, well, my mom wasn't wrong. She's really good. And I remember after the game, I was like, wow. I love coming to practice and she's here just watching her. I mean, it's really cool. I know a lot of setters don't have that experience to work with their role model in the gym. So you're off the right, yeah. you're going like this. I decided that Wisconsin was the right fit for me right around in middle school, right around when I started getting college letters from everywhere. I was like, man, I really want to go to Wisconsin. So when the offer came around my freshman year, I had to take it. The team was a little different when I first got here. A lot of growing pains going on. The standards, they were high, but no one really knew what we were capable of achieving. Lauren's freshman year, she let the older players do most of the leading, and she spent her energy trying to work on the things that she could control, you know, which was running the offense. On the court, it's my job to put up the best ball possible. Having the personality and having the mindset of, I want to make everyone else around me better. I'm going to make you better this game. I'm going to make you better after this pass. She took it very personally when her attackers would get blocked. There was a lot of, what do I need to do? So she was an active participant in her own learning. We just went out there every day. We had fun on the court. We enjoyed playing with each other and we played hard. You see her during matches, this intensity, her drive. She loves having a ball in her hand. We maybe didn't win every game, but in the long term, we got really good at the end of the year, which is when it really truly counts. And we made a run to the national championship. I 
guess better is you looking like that you're going to and okay. then pulling down so they're thinking here going this way okay. rather than just showing that's it sick. early that you're you're down make her think hey that's available okay it's about making other people believe that that ball is up while they're facing a different direction and coming down up screaming that these guys now land and get off with a lot more urgency Would I say that I accomplished everything I wanted to while I was here? No. We were so close freshman year and we never got back to that. So that was just always really hard. Especially when three out of the four years we lost to the eventual national champion. I think the hardest part of my college career was there were some springs that were really hard. You have to learn some really hard lessons. We had a tough loss in the NCAA tournament and her walking into the coach's locker room it must have been 20 times. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There was one spring where I was really bad. I just didn't know how to cope with stress correctly. I felt like I was spiraling out of control. I was just like, I hate volleyball. I hate going to practices. I was just really angry and really sad all the time. It was a really tough spring in general. We talked with her about, hey, our teammates need to see how important this is to you. Don't be afraid to get into them in practice. Don't be afraid to let that love of the game and that love of competition come out. I actually ended up seeing a psychologist. It was just talking to someone who was a third party removed from the situation. So I was free to talk as I wanted to and what I was feeling both on the court, off the court. It really helped me get back to where I wanted to be. Just finding a way to be happy again with volleyball and getting back onto my path. She found ways to make me mentally strong again and I rose up from that and the next summer was great. Give a big round of applause and welcome our seven finalists up to the stage where they will receive their medal. I think my most proud accomplishment just came a few weeks ago with the AAU Sullivan Award. Just being honored with six Olympians was absolutely insane. The winner of our 87th annual AAU James E. Sullivan Award is Lauren Carlini, volleyball. <laughs> the video of me was like, what? I just won. <laughs> Congratulations, Lauren Carlini. I was just in complete shock because it was such a cool award that I didn't, honestly didn't even know about until a few weeks before the award was announced. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't prepare a speech. Um, wow. That wasn't just me. It wasn't just because of my accolades. It was because of the people I had around me. First off, I just wanna say thank you to everyone. Um, I know a lot of that support came from Wisconsin and my family and all my friends at home for voting. It's pretty cool to look at those other list of names who have won that award and you know know that I'm now on that list. I hope in three years that I get what every single one of these guys have, uh, an Olympic gold medal. So thank you so much and thank you guys as well. You guys are over here on this court. Everybody else is, is over there. We're working on attacking behind the setter. Individually, you're seeing some of us need better standing posture here of when you're down on the line of which foot is in front and where you're facing. Some of you guys need to be working on that from your movement from base. The last thing that all of us need to be working on is just hands to the ball rather than hands here and swinging. We're doing so much of that. That's why balls are flying back behind us faster than what they're coming into our arms. When I was on the team, we were always pretty serious when it came to game planning, as well as roles, leadership. What am I going to be like? What is my team going to look like moving forward? Now it's more about my future. Hey, what are you going to do on the national team? What do we need to help you to get better? I see a lot of times people talk about wanting to be a professional player. And when you go from college to a high-level professional or the U.S. national team, your game has to get better. She's getting ready for the things that she needs to do to be better at the next level. She is working on that. Currently, I'm focusing on, one, just getting my body in shape to be in the USA National Gym. Skill-wise, fine-tuning what I need to fine-tune because I know when I get out there, I'm going to have to change a lot of stuff. And 
setting techniques very different and the speeds are way faster at USA. And then just putting myself in a great position to be a starter on that team right away. What she has left behind is this total understanding of how to prepare yourself to be elite. I think our practices are really good right now because the younger players coming up have had that image of what it's supposed to look like. Her success on the court is great, but how she prepares to get to that level has been massive for everybody, I think. I'd like to be able to go faster with you, which means those last two are going to have to be more explosive. Yeah, and when you're on the run, we still got to keep her tempo. Okay. Ball, good, good eyes, good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. The biggest thing about this program and the change we've made over four years is just the standards. They get higher and higher every single year. When I first got to Wisconsin, we weren't expecting to win a national championship. Now, every time we step in the gym, that's something that we're working towards. In this program, we want to win the first national championship. We challenge our older players of what is going to be your unconditional gift to this program. That younger players, they not only talk about you to the newer players that are coming up, but it's also their image of what they should or maybe they shouldn't do. Even though I won't be a part of that team, it's going to be something super special when that comes around because all that effort, all that time, all that hard work that previous teams have put in, it's kind of built up for that moment. I don't think you saw that coming off the arm, so look for that. Kind of like basketball, great rebounders. You know who Dennis Rodman is? No. You don't know who Dennis Rodman is? No. All right, do some research on Dennis Rodman. So, uh, he's a great rebounder, and he was able to read that ball, what, what side of the rim that was going to be coming off, where most people just react. Read that coming off the hands. My name is Sydney Hilly, and this is my first semester in college. As a setter, you're kind of like the quarterback of the team. You're the leader. So having confidence in yourself allows other people to have confidence in you too, and that makes them play better. I'm doing a clinic in her home state, and I remember at one point, she goes up and hits a ball. And I turned to a coach, I said, pretty nice wing. Kid looked at me pretty good. Goes, yeah, she's a setter. My whole time I'm thinking, you know, not bad for a junior, not bad for a senior. And then a little bit later, she does something else. It's like, man, I can't get ball. I said that to another coach, she goes, yeah, can you believe she's only an eighth grader? Now I'm perking up. It's like, all right, she's impressed me with her hitting, and her setting is even better, and she's not a junior or a senior. This kid's an eighth grader. All right. That's the first time I noticed her. in I was really not confident in myself because I knew I had so much to work on and I knew Lauren was super good so I was like I need to be like that. She accelerated the hand the finish is a little bit low with the hands and the and the ball. Uh, tempo is good still still low. She's wired very similarly to Lauren is that there's this hunger to keep getting better. She loves training she wants to be really really good and she's fitting in with the team. I think having Lauren here in the gym and those two working out has really helped her. You could tell she just loves the game. She comes in here every day and she's excited to get to work. She's in here extra putting in extra reps serving, extra reps doing setting. And it's just, it shows that she wants to win and that she has the drive to be able to do that. There's an intensity with both of them. They just want to get better. Neither of them really want to waste a whole lot of time being told how great they are. How do we get better? How do we get better? Go, go, go. Good, good high. I think the biggest thing I'm taking from Lauren is just watching her play. Even if I'm not asking her questions or we're not working alone together, just me seeing her play and watching her mannerisms and her leadership is helping me improve my game as well. Badger pride, one, two, three. Badger pride. Just coming in as a freshman and being as strong as she is and being as loud as she is, I think that's a huge indicator of what her success is going to look like throughout her career. 
I think that she has the capabilities to be able to win the first national championship for this program, and I hope that she gets to do that. I'm most excited about our team's potential and how the program hopefully will keep going up and keep being a big name. I know Lauren kind of established that, but we want to keep that going and we want to win a national championship. Great competitors are just, they want to be as good as they could possibly be. Lauren wanted to max out her own potential and her team's potential. Sid is approaching the same way. There's been a lot of talk about me having pressure on myself, but I think even if Lauren wasn't before me, I'd still have pressure on myself. And I think that having her is motivation more than anything. I think the biggest advice I have for Sid is just be a leader, don't be afraid to lead because I think she has great instincts when it comes to communicating both on and off the court. So just keep working hard because I know that she can lead this team to a national championship.